Yeah, the man behind the camera, we don't get enough of this. And Bobby, can you flip it? I can't wait them, to the day. Show them the whole the thing. The day that I'm not ready yet. It's not ready. Wait wait this, ready. Watch this. Watch this. So what's going on? Just warming yourself up. So what's going on? I don't know. I'll ask you today. What's going on? Oh yeah, good. Nah. <laughs> that really what I sound like. I think you go, nah, yeah, good. Yeah, nah, okay. Yeah, nah, not bad, mate. <laughs> no, really, what's going on? So, so, so what did you get up to today? Went to the zoo, taught some lessons. Oh yeah? How was the zoo? Went to the gym, what's that? How was the zoo? It was sick A. Eh? Did you see any... <laughs> sick ass. It was sick A. Eh? Did you see any cool animals? Yeah, plenty of them. Did you see any? I saw some giraffes. Did you see some Saltosaurus rexes? Saltosaurus rexes. Plenty of saurus and plenty uh, platypuses. Yeah, no, nah, no, nah, no platypuses. No platypuses. Yeah, nah. You know? Yeah, what nah. What a giraffe. So giraffe. Giraffe. Yeah, giraffe. A reno. A reno. And a hypopotamouse. A hypopotamouse. Was it was it hypopotamouse? Yeah, hypopotamouse. That's how you pronounce it. It was pretty. Yeah, that's how you pronounce. That's how you pr pronounce it. Yeah. Was it hypo? Pretty, pretty much. Did it have good gains? Good dance moves. What was its hypo trophy like? <laughs> what, what is that, a melon? Yeah, you want to give that to her? Yeah, oh. sure. She'll open her mouth and you just kind of... Oh. oh my gosh, sorry. Crunch it. <laughs> oh, just pop the melon. Oh. Everything's fine and then we have the small pair. So yeah, apple. Just crunch oh, that down. Oh, we're trying to use the shoulders right now. With my friend Alexis. We're gonna do a shoulder workout and she's already trained back today. Maybe some calves too, because look, there's not much going on down there. Don't look at them. Cover them up. Cover them up, no worries. Wait, 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 wait. This is a lot to see. No, don't look at my calves. No, they can see. That's all I can see. Just a bit of it. Just a tip. Just a tip. Okay, let's get serious. No more fucking around. I heard you got pulled over on the way to the gym. Yeah, this is the third time now. And this time I wasn't doing anything wrong in mock club. Just thought I was going a little bit fast. I did, I stopped at the stop sign. Yeah. I was this close to ripping a mad skid across an intersection where I did it before and I saw the car behind me and I thought oh, it's not a cop car because it's, it's night and I couldn't see the racks on top so I couldn't see the lights. I thought oh no, we're good to go. And then a car came from the side. I was like oh, I better not because I wouldn't do it if, as long as there's no one else there, right? And then I stopped myself, the car went and then I went and then the, I just accelerated a little bit, it wasn't crazy. The lights came on, so it was an unmarked cop car. And it was a lady officer. And she said, have you ever been arrested before? It was the first thing she asked me. I said, no. Can I see some ID? She said, oh, where are you from? I said, ah, from Australia. <laughs> and that kind of just the whole situation. She said, have a good night. Catch you later. Did you think she said you were driving like a bat out of oh, hell? Oh, she said I was driving like a bat out of hell. Which, obviously she's never seen a bat out of hell. Because that ain't a bat out of hell. It's very tame. Next time I'll show her a better the hell. No behind the heads, because I heard it. It's a little bit too much strain on the old belt work. So as I can still feel it, but doing it in front actually does take away a lot of the pain I had. So and then I heard um the you're on the new pre. Yes, the koala freak pre-workout. I'm very excited. Finally have launched this new supplement line called Staunch. Fuck it, staunch it. That's what we do here at the gym. Just go out, rock up, staunch it, have a fucking protein shake, go home, do whatever you want to do. But um yeah, I'm very excited because I put a lot of thought, creativity. I want to put personalize it with things that kind of uh, um, 
uh, that I relate with. Like, I love animals. I'm from Australia. I like anime, things like that. One Piece. So it's cool to be able to get together on a lot of the creative side, the formulas, all that sort of stuff. You know, put a lot of time. It's been uh, it took a while longer to launch it. I'm sorry, but I wanted everything to be right so that when you guys see it, it's I want you to be happy. So anyway. I'm gonna do another set now. Too heavy or heavy yeah, enough? Yeah, no. Look, I did them super strict. Like, no jumping. So, six reps, that's fine. I'm gonna drop it down for the next one and do a nicer. Uh, Eight reps or so, and just more squeeze. What was your favorite animal at the zoo today? I love them all. I like them all. Uh, I really enjoyed the rhino interaction. Because I've never been that close to a rhino. Same with the hippo. But that was really fantastic. The giraffes are really cool too. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. So what is this? A bamboo leaf? Or? This is a bird of paradise. The long tongue comes out, takes the food. Uh, I like the antelope. I like the sloths. I like the otters and the piranha. I like all these animals. The seal. They're all very, very interesting. I really like that they have these programs build awareness and they have breeding programs and that they're doing all this the zoos work very hard for the sustainability of the species you know and they they do have special programs breeding programs where they can find the best matches with other zoos for different species so that they have genetically good breeding pa pa pairs to increase the survival rate of any endangered or threatened species so it's good that we have the zoos you know, not only for education for the kids, a lot of kids there today, you know, it's important for the next generation to build awareness and, and to educate them. You know, you never know when they are our age, those kids might never be able to see a fucking rhino again. Because all the fucking poachers out there that hunt them, you know, for, for what, medicinal purposes to cure cancer? It's a, a crock of shit. The guy at the zoo today, he's telling us that this rhino, even though He's gone under five operations on his horn because he had cancer growing underneath the horn. So how the fuck can horn, rhino horn, cure cancer when the fucking rhino, rhino's riddled with cancer to begin with? That's not the case. So it's just crazy that you know, all these beautiful animals are threatened to going under extinction almost because of you know, fuckwits going out there shooting them for ivory. But really it's not about cancer and medicinal purposes. It's like, it's just the same, it's like a currency for them. They see the rhino's horn as currency. It's the Irish currency, so yeah, I, I get pretty worked up about that shit. And anyway, I'm gonna do some more shoulders. Shoulders already look pumped. Yeah, it's crazy. So, the pre workout's good, I really like it. It's really good. Yes, yep. I mean, it looks like it's it looks like it's definitely working. Before I left home, I actually took a picture. Of, and I was like, "We'll read the veins." Ah, and the fucking smoothie we had. Oh yeah. I had a. I swear, this is the secret to the fucking get the veins popping. Is I do the protein, two scoops of protein. I had banana, honey, banana, honey, and just mix it with water and ice. It's delicious. But it, fucking the banana and the honey is. Just perfect. I want to look like fucking old mate Roger, that red kangaroo out with Outback. Oh yeah, the one that just fucking crushes metal buckets for breakfast. Yeah, that dude. He's that one. He's a sick cunt. Oh my god. Today's my lucky day. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet.
Three. Three. I wanted to thank you for being my school. Now. It's a pleasure always. You call this a bum bag. Bum bag. Some people say, Mark, your, your fanny pack. You love your fanny pack showing? It's a purse. Fanny pack. It's a purse. It's a, it's it's a, a purse. purse. It's a man. <laughs> I love it. Thank you for being my friend. It's a pleasure always. Amazing. Thank you for being the man today. behind the camera, we don't get enough of this. And Bobby. Can you flip it? I can't show wait them, to the day. Show them the whole the thing. The day that not ready yet. It's not ready. Watch this. this. Ready? Watch wait this. Watch this. Oh. There's no one there. <laughs> it's all. He's a quantum photographer. He's a quantum he's just, photographer. You, he's faster than light itself. Bill. They also call him Bill for short. Bill short for invisible. Wow, invisible. <laughs> he bill. puts the he puts the bill in invisible. That's right. Okay, so you're coned off. This coned is your off. area. Thank you, everyone else. This is Cal's area. Stay out of the area. <laughs> We're in the construction. Thank you for being muscular. Thank you for being adorable, muscular, fit. Thank Look you. at this. Amazing. Pleasure always. Still in. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Pushing too many pencils. <laughs> <Amazing>. <laughs>
So the bear can sit on there and feel relaxed. I can see that perch coming in. <laughs> I'm trying to. Yeah. Bass will be happy. Here we have. Got to keep bass happy. Got to do it for bass. It's trying to give him a little bit of purchase up here. Oh. Call it a night? Yep. Just call it a night. Nothing more to see here? Nothing more to see. But there's still a lot more to be done. <laughs> <laughs> 